I remember seeing Erica on the dance floor and she was kind of by herself. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go over there and, and try to sweep this girl off her feet. So I swung in there and asked her to dance and spun her around a bit. And then she started falling for me pretty quickly after that, I think, with how good my dancing was. And then conned her into coming out to a movie with me. And during the whole movie, I thought this girl has absolutely no interest in me whatsoever. She wouldn't look at me. We watched a scary movie. She wouldn't look at me. After that, though, we went out to say goodbye and we sat in my truck and talked for two or three hours. And then since then, the rest is history, I guess. I'm trying to like think of a way to ask her dad for his permission. All of a sudden, we hear someone like scream in agony. So we go up there and her dad is like crunched over in excruciating pain on the top of the stairs. And I'm thinking to myself, like this is absolute worst case scenario. So he slipped on the stairs and he ended up, he had fractured a bunch of ribs. I finally get a minute with her dad by himself. At this point he's doped up on painkillers. So it was, it was an easy way in for me. I roped him in, talked to him, and he said yes right away. She walks in and walks upstairs, and there's like, I'm thinking right away it's a dead giveaway. There's rose petals all on the floor, there's like a love song playing. I, I'm standing there, just like awkwardly standing there waiting for her. I'm thinking like she's gonna walk upstairs and like be excited and start to cry or something. She just looks at me and goes, what, what are you doing? I'm thinking eventually she's got to catch on to this and it literally took me to start talking to her and telling her what I said to her for her to finally clue in. Let's be realistic, like I clued in, <clears throat> but no one wants to be that girl that's like, yes, and then you're like, but I wasn't proposing. Yeah. She came over, I got down one knee, obviously asked her to marry me, and then we called the cottage and my parents and her parents and we came out with champagne and we celebrated in the barn. But now the running joke is <clears throat> that my dad didn't want me to move to Canada so bad he threw himself down a plane. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a little questionable about, about that too, but I don't know, we'll see. God, we ask for your blessings and protection over this wonderful couple today. That as they grow closer to you, they may grow closer together. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now that Erica and Doug have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I take great joy in pronouncing them as husband and wife 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.